What is driving more and more Australians to decide to retire overseas? Hi there, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner based here in Singapore, working with Australian expats all over the globe. In today's video, I want to give you some insights as to the common reasons that we are seeing more and more Australians decide to retire overseas rather than back home in Australia, or at the very least split their time between Australia and another destination. Now, number one is, of course, climate. For those of us living in Singapore, Malaysia, Hong Kong, warmer climates for a lot of people, as we all know, our blood gets a bit thin. We're not a big fan of those colder months in Australia. So for a lot of people, having that tropical climate can be very appealing. So the likes of Philippines, Thailand, Malaysia can be very attractive for a lot of Australian expats. Number two is the lifestyle. Now again, the lifestyle of being able to travel, have a cheap, excellent food, the expat communities, and of course, having the nice climate all year round allows a lot of people to enjoy a lot more outdoor activities when they are retired. So again, this is another big driver when it comes to retirement destinations. Now, number three, of course, cost of living is a major driver in pushing more and more Australians to consider retiring overseas rather than back in Australia. We've got the cost of housing, the cost of healthcare, general groceries, supermarkets, private health insurance, the cost of transport, utilities, fuel prices. All of these things continue to escalate back in Australia. And we're finding that the majority of Australians looking to retire overseas let's take Thailand for example, could spend about 30 to 40% in Thailand compared to what they would spend in Australia, often for a much better lifestyle. Couple this with the fact that healthcare in a lot of these countries is getting a lot better as well. So where we might have had to see Australians returning to Australia for access to quality healthcare with improvements overseas, this is becoming less and less of an issue. Now, of course, that relates closely to the next factor, which is tax treatment. Now, yes, Australia has a great tax, frame, tax framework when it comes to our superannuation. So if you've been steadily building up your superannuation over the years while working in Australia or working overseas, when you do retire and you convert that super into an account-based pension, you can then start to make tax-free withdrawals subject to limits in terms of the total balance. Now, that is tax-free growth, tax-free dividends, and tax-free withdrawals if you are retired in Australia. But if you haven't been contributing to super and all of your wealth or a large portion sits outside of super, and you've perhaps left it too late to get into superannuation, then you could find that the tax treatment of that income in Australia could be quite a burden to overcome, particularly when you compare that to other tax-free jurisdictions that are attractive for expats. Now, for a lot of our clients, we also find that they plan to work part-time. They might consult, set up their own business, run a bed and breakfast, whatever it might be. So again, given the favorable tax treatments in a number of other countries, this can be very appealing compared to Australia as well. Now, the final variable when it comes to what is driving more and more Australians to consider retiring overseas is the strong expat community in a number of these countries. Whether it's Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines, South America, parts of Western Eastern Europe, the Australian expat community is usually a very close knit one. It's very easy to make new friends, to build up that sense of community and to get involved quite quickly. So gone are the hurdles or the burden of trying to come into a new country, make new friends. This can all be done incredibly quickly through the likes of organizations like Ozcham and of course, ANZA right here in Singapore. So there you have it, a few of the common drivers pushing more and more Australians to consider retiring overseas.